Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gamers. Coming to me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon today, and coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Heroes Advent Ray's Path. So yes, Ray got a nice big juicy update. I'm eager to jump right into it, y'all. Let's go ahead and just jump right back in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. I think Alarm Chan, are you with me today? There you are. Okay. All right, let's do it. All right. <clears throat> okay. And soon enough, everything just faded to black. So this is right after the magical mishap in Alex's lab. All right. Okay. <sighs> it's so cold. Where am I? You held your arms into a shiver, trying to stave off the cold of the void. You couldn't feel your limbs at all. A am I dead? Is this it? Is this how it ends? Uh, I guess I'm not a hero. I'm not hero material, material after all. You're selling yourself a bit short, don't you think? Huh? Who are you? Ever the inquisitive one, eh? That's gotten you far into this whole ordeal. But sometimes you have to wonder if you're asking the right questions. Who are we? Or perhaps, why are we? Or, least importantly, how we came to be here right now. The voice spoke in a familiar yet mismatched tone, as if generated through a patchwork voice synthesizer. I, I don't... Isn't it obvious? I must either be dead or have gone completely crazy. Death would be unbecoming of a hero, Cassian. And crazy? Oh, we've all gone a little mad here, haven't we? But I can only hear you, and you sound an awful lot like... Like... Like me. So it's like I'm just hearing an echo of myself. And maybe you're just talking to yourself this whole time. Then how did I get here? Or you, rather? Well, Cassian, why do you think that is? What do you remember? Hmm, I was with Ray, but wasn't I trying to learn magic from Alex in his lab? I followed his instructions to a T, or at least I hoped to. But in the end, I still blew myself up. It wasn't your fault, though. There was no way you could master that energy flow on the first try. Yeah, still, it must have disappointed the others, or buried them sick because of this. Huh. But this means I actually do something with all- But this means I can actually do something with all that magic energy, right? And maybe Ray can help me find some answers to all this. Hmm. Well, at least it's something- it's something to look forward to. Hey? Hello? As the other voice faded into the back of your mind, the faint footsteps and muffled chatter around you gradually became louder and clearer. And somehow you had the sinking feeling in your chest that you can no longer speak to this voice any longer. But wait! Uh-oh, spaghetti -o. You slowly opened your eyes to your dorm room. Ray was there by your side. The others were too, somewhere around the place. Ow, my head! He held your throbbing head as you slowly sat up in bed. Ugh, one of these days, all I want is just a good night's sleep with nothing messing with my head. Guys, look, he's awake! Cassian, hey! H hey! Ray wasted no time to pull you in for a hug as you sat as you sat up in bed. Ow, Ray, a little easy on the hug, yeah? Oh, shit, my bad. The dragon let go of the hug as he sat by your side. Is he really gonna be alright, Alex? Of course he'll be alright, you worry, Wart. Thankfully, the blast itself didn't seem to harm him in the slightest. Though he did have a concussion from getting his face smacked against the wall, so it's only natural for his headache to be this persistent. Right, but... As I've said, I've already done what I can manage. The rest will be up to him. How are you doing, Cassian? It could be a lot better. My head still hurts so damn much, though. Ugh! Damn it! I knew I should have thrown myself in front of the blast for you. And what? Get yourself killed? Come on, Ryan. A little foresight wouldn't hurt once in a while. Even then, I wish I could have done something more, you know. It just hurts seeing him just flat out cold for so long. So long? How long have I been out for? It's nearly 8 in the morning right now. So maybe more than 12 hours. You had me really worried, you know. Now, now. There's no need to get all heated up, Rye. All he, all he needs right now is some of that soup I made and a bit more rest. Then he'll be good as new, yes? Heh, <laughs> that does sound pleasant, all right. We can always count on your cooking coming to save the day, eh, Cody? Come now. No need to flatter me at this point. Here, Cassian. Cody came closer and handed you a warm bowl. Thanks, Cody. It smells wonderful. Yeah, it's some herbal soup I made. Ought to help you heal up. You were very tempted to dig in right away, but as soon as you held the bowl, it almost slipped from your weak grip. Almost slipped from how weak your grip was. Whoa! Max was quick to reach out for the bowl, but even even faster red blur swooped in to hold it in place for you. Got it. Be careful next time, yeah, Cassian? I guess the blast must have really knocked the wind out of your sails. Y yeah. I guess I'll need your help to even eat the soup, if you don't mind, that is. Oh, gladly. I don't mind at all. Show off. Well, now that Cassian is okay, can we go? 
I'm sure everyone still has their own things to do, and I don't like wasting time just standing around here. Sure, you guys are just you guys are dismissed. Just don't forget about your tasks. Wait, what about Cassian? Well, I was about to stay with him, but looks like he got that covered already. But in that case, can you go to Alaric's office to report your findings? I need to meet up with Toby and discuss our next move. Sure thing. Can I bring Cassian along then? Of course. Just make sure he's doing better when you do, though. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Hmm? You alright there, Cassian? Uh, yeah, just... I kind of feel bad for holding everyone back with this, um, setback. It's fine, Cassian. It wasn't your fault that this happened. Mm-hmm. Strictly speaking, you can attribute the concussion to the Cody stone column that blocked the energy blast. Hey, what do you mean by that? And whose idea was it to test out magic in an enclosed space? Touché. I should have considered the scenarios more thoroughly before running the test on Cassian. The way I see it, Cody probably saved our bacon, our bacons by raising that stone column in the first place, including your lab equipment, too, Alex. Uh, you've got a good point. Either way, Cassian. Y yeah? If you want to use magic, try to remember the steps I taught you in, the, in that the steps I taught you in that test before things, well, sort of went sideways. Will do. Thank you, Alex. Mm-hmm. See you all later. You guys take care now. Good hunting. Rest up and remember to eat well, Cassian. If you swing by the tavern later, I'll be sure to prepare something delicious for you. You can come as well, Rye. Well then, I don't, I don't mind if I do. Hey, only for this time, and only because of Cassian, all right? Yeah, yeah, I know. Still, though, thanks, Cody. See you guys later, then. Soon enough, the room grew quieter as the others left, leaving you with Ray for the time being. Well, now that we're alone, better open wide, Cassian. Uh, wh what for? Uh, you mean for the soup, right? Wow, Cassian, there's a time and a place for that other thing, you know. I know. Well, let's eat. I'm kind of starving right now. All right, here. Ray grabbed the bowl from the nightstand as he began spoon-feeding you the soup. His demeanor may seem erratic and hasty, but he turned out to be quite delicate and patient, as you still struggled with your sluggish movement. Mmm, Cody said this is a medicinal soup, right? It's way too delicious to be one. Heh, <laughs> he's very talented, isn't he? Yeah, you know, he's always been like that back then, when we were together. Yeah, he's very talented, all right. Wait, did you say together? Whoops, guess I, uh, blurted it out again, haven't I? You got me. I mean, back when we were together as a group. Nowadays, I mostly operate on my own, or occasionally helping out Alex or Max. It's only natural to get sentimental once in a while, yeah? Ask him about it. Yeah, right. Hmm? What do you mean by that? Come on, Rye, you can think... You think you can just weasel your way out like that? Weasel my way out of what? <sighs> it's all in the past now. Probably should let it be. What's all in the past? You haven't even told me what exactly it is yet. Wow, you're getting pretty sly, aren't you, Ca aren't you, huh, Cassian? Nah, screw it. Might as well say it all and... Say it all if I just keep blurting it out all, all at some point, huh? So, uh, me and Cody, we used to be dating from a while back. Wait, you're not surprised? Not even one bit? Not exactly. I kind of always had a hunch anyway. Wait, wasn't he also dating, like, Alex as well? Not exactly. Okay. The way you talk to him, being all awkward around him and all that. I guess it really shows, huh? It kind of does. You're not exactly the most subtle person either, Ray. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Alex always said the same thing, too. That, my face always reflects my emotion a bit too well. Whatever I felt about anything, it always shows clear as day. Guess it's one of my quirks, just that sometimes it comes to my detriment. You're fine, right? It's nothing harmful, after all. So, you and Cody, did something happen between you two? Did something happen? Hmm. I mean, to be honest, nothing really. We used to hang out and spend time with each other a lot. And then, at some point, we just sort of drifted apart. Oh. Yeah, like, I don't think there was an official breakup, a fight between us, or any of that drama. We just started seeing each other less. I had more errands and merc jobs to run. Cody's been busier than ever trying to set up shop with his tavern. I think we used to chat whenever I swung by to get dinner for Alex, but after some time he got so busy, he didn't really pay attention to what I was saying anymore. So I guess I just stopped talking as well. So that's, so it's like that, huh? I feel like, I feel like I also had friends where we just, friends where we just drifted apart after a while like that. I'm sorry things ended up that way for you guys. Nah, it's alright, Cassian. Like I said, it's all in the past now. It was just a classic case of miscommunication. Uh-oh? Yeah, it was awkward, but I mustered up the courage to confront him about it recently. At the festival? Uh-huh. Turns out he thought I was upset at him for being absent-minded and not paying attention to him anymore. I thought he was just fed up with me and not wanting to listen to me anymore. So after clearing that up, it's all fine now. 
Except, well, we're both still busier than ever, so it's hard to really find the time to talk and catch up. And I'm also with you now, so there's that. Heh. <laughs> Hmm, but even if we're, you know, not dating, I guess now wouldn't be the best time for relationships, given all the recent events. Hey now, don't say that, Cassian. There's always time and place for romance in this world. But I guess you have a point. It's just unfortunate timing these days. So, can you tell me what happened after you, uh, it happened yesterday exactly? I mean, I know what happened to me, but what about you guys? Was anyone hurt? Nah, we're fine. Cody managed to conjure up another barrier for us. Though, so if you ask me, I could have easily with... I, I could e easily withstand the blast myself. Heh, <laughs> you're one tough dragon, after all. You know it. So after the dust settled, I picked you up and brought you here to and brought you to Alex's test tube so he could fix you up here. He did that with the test tube thing? Yeah, but it was pretty worrying for me. Your heartbeat slowed down a lot, and you were barely breathing at all. Even I could sense that without all the monitoring devices Alex strapped to, strapped to, strapped to you. But after he made sure you were okay, we took you back here and let you rest up. I see. Well, thanks a lot, Ray. No worries. And I guess I should thank Alex, too. I didn't think he looked out for me like that. Hey, he might not look like it, but he did worry about you a lot. Yeah, but probably because he wanted to keep me as a test subject. That does sound like him. Yep. But anyway, let's eat up, yeah? The soup won't be so tasty when it's cold. Heh, <laughs> right. You finished up the soup before resting for a bit. Ray then brought you some water and some medicine that Cody prepared. Here. Take these and rest up a bit before we go. Sure. Blah, these pills taste nasty. C can we go back to the soup? Hmm, guess it needs a little something to make it taste better. Uh, like what? Oh, you know, my love. Nah, too sweet, Ray. Too sweet? Bah, I should have guessed. Are you sure you'll be okay, Cassian? Hmm? I I'm fine, aside from the headache, but I can manage. I see. Still, I'm sorry. What for? Max entrusted your protection to me, and yet I've failed you. Hey, it's not your fault, Ray. I didn't even know what I could use that, I could, that I could use that magic until yesterday. It's all right. Even then, I won't let you get hurt again next time. I promise. <laughs> I'm flattered, but I gotta be able to fend for myself too, you know. I can't always rely on you guys to protect me all the time. I guess you're right. Still, I'll try to be better at keeping you from harm next time. And I'll try to be better as well. Huh, <laughs> all right then. Now, try to get some sleep, yeah? I'll be around to keep watch. Will do. Thanks, Ray. He lay down again for quite some time. He woke after a few hours, feeling quite better now that the headache had subsided. Ray was still by your side, seemingly dozing off, though he went quite though he went wide awake as soon as you got off your bed and headed for the bathroom. Hmm? Up already, Cassian? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna take a shower. Shouldn't be too long. Sure. How you feeling now? Quite all right now, thank you. Well, I'll head back in a bit. We'll meet up in the lobby, yes? Sure. See you there, Ray. See ya. After taking a shower to clean up, you met with Ray back at the main lobby where you'd take the usual elevator to the Sky Garden. You noticed that he'd also changed back to his guild uniform. Hmm, are we going to the Sky Garden? I thought we were supposed to head to Alaric's place. We are. It's actually the floor right below. W wait, what? So it's actually so close by all this time? Yep. But you guessed it, I don't really go there unless there's official business. And the atmosphere could get a little heavy. Why is that? You'll see. Looks like, I swear to God, that was like Falco. <laughs> you, you weren't sure what you were expecting, but the place felt really identical to those administrative buildings you've been to before. The floor was essentially a big corridor divided into different wings, each with their own rooms lined with waiting chairs outside. You could see a lot of people sitting as they waited. Some appeared more impatient than the others. There's a lot of people waiting here. Yep. There's been people going missing since the recent incident. Some even had their house ransacked and their stuff stolen, too. That's awful! Uh-huh. That's why some people... That's what some people would do. Make use of those... Make use of the chaos to create even more chaos. That's why I'm here, right? To maintain order? That's something... Uh, that's something Max would say. But yeah. I guess we're here for them still. After a moment, you ended up at a large door with a sign on the side that read, Galantir Guildmaster Sir Alaric. Come in. You could see the Guildmaster on the far side of the room. It proved to be quite a broad figure as he stood up from his desk. Afternoon, Alaric. Oh, Raymond, what a pleasant surprise. It's not every day that I see you in my office. I take it that you have something of importance to report, yes? Yeah, something along that line. 
I'm not exactly good at explaining things, but it has to do with the Guardian Crystal. Guardian Crystal? Tell me more about this in details. Gladly. Ah, but before that, who might this fellow behind you be? Oh, that's Cassian. Cassian, this is Alaric. He's, uh, the Guildmaster and leader of the city. Please, instead of leader, I'd say I'm more of acting representative of the Crystal Coast. But yes, you must be the new recruit. I've heard a quite a bit about you from the Lady from Lady Spring herself, Cassian. Lady Spring? You mean Alyssa, sir? Ah, so you know her alias as well. I suppose that makes talking about her easier between us, then. In any case, I must say I'm quite elated to finally see you in person, Cassian. Likewise, sir. He briefly shook hands with him. His grip was firm and decisive. It's all right, Cassian. If it makes you any more comfortable, feel free to just call me Alric. I'm sure Raymond here is fine with that. Yeah, I don't mind. Hell, I'd say none of us on the team care a whole lot about ranks and all that. Except Max, who uh, actually cares about it a whole lot. But anyways, that's kind of beside the point. Let's just get the reporting bit over with, shall we? Indeed. You two best get seated, then. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, okay. As you both headed over to the guest table and sat down at the sofa, you took a quick look around the office. Uh, there were quite a few bookshelves, cabinets, and glass displays. Most of them were for what looked like his own book collections, documents, or just decorative trinkets. Jewelry and keepsakes from people he'd met. Or at least you'd assume so, given the small notes with names and locations placed beneath each of them. There were also a lot of paintings adorning the walls. One of them did pique your interest the closer you looked. Uh, that must be Alaric. Yep, and that tiger. Huh, they look really similar. Wait, is that... Oh, yeah, you're looking at Alex's family. Ooh. Hmm. I was meaning to ask, how's Alex doing these days, Raymond? He's alright. Still burying himself with work and research projects, just, you know, the usuals. And what of his assistant? Still trying his best, but you know Alex, he's very short-tempered with anyone that doesn't operate the same way he does. But Festin's a nice and capable guy. He'll stick around no matter what. That's good, at least. Huh, Alex is one of our finest minds in this day and age. Had it not been for all the excruciating circumstances, I dare say he'd have limitless potential. I agree. I had to find another mind as innovative as his. Well, Raymond, please do me a favor and make sure he takes care of himself, would you? I will, Alaric. I will. I wanted to ask about his family, but maybe this isn't the right time for that. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, then, what have you learned about the Guardian Crystal that requires my attention? We may have found the source of the problem. Max did his own investigating yesterday, and he found something interesting. Oh? Go on. It has something to do with the soil. We suspect that they've been weakening the, C the GC by infecting all the soil around Vitrum Park. Alright, guys and gals, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Oh, tomorrow's the day of the big move, guys and gals. I will also be putting up content tomorrow while I'm on the plane, so I'm going to record videos in advance. So with the plane, the flight will have Wi-Fi, so it shouldn't be any issues. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If a super thanks or a tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!